Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick, we're playing Stationeers. And we've had another update. Uh, yeah, that one didn't take long. This one is uh, pipe upgraded chickens and rocket data. Because they're naturally three things that always go together when anybody thinks about them. Um, uh, I I guess they're just three things that needed doing but we've got we can actually upgrade our pipes now so if you want to upgrade your pipes from uninsulated to insulated all you got to do is use an insulated pipe over the top of them instead of pulling the old ones out and a new one we should have a pipe igniter which is um something pipe igniter here we go which is something I've probably wanted to have quite a while but um, a lot of the time I have just been igniting fuels in tanks and not using that's got to be put on a pipe oh well I've been trying to ignite fuel in tanks and use them as heaters for you know for, for our, our sterling engines and whatnot there and I've always had to uh, attach a furnace to it just to ignite the fuel in the tank and then rely on the or to keep the tank hot enough so that as you pump more fuel into it it just auto ignites no more now because we just attach that to a pipe and we can just spark whatever fuel is in the pipe and ignite it without having to attach a furnace that is really cool um, I don't need one on this base but uh, other bases I've needed it but not this one we'll see if we can find a use for it uh, and yeah, the rockets rockets now have uh, a heap of data coming back from it so you can control them better from a program instead of having to manually do it all and, and chickens chickens are back to being chickens again and uh, uh yeah your fertilized eggs will become unfertilized if you leave them in the cold so i'd probably best go rescue my um oxygen critical no, it's not. I'd best go rescue my chickens from the refrigerator before they die or turn into food. Can't afford to feed them. Um, well, let's see if they're still alive first. They've been in the fridge for a long time. Uh... Uh, we haven't had to come back here for a while. Um, I had the... Up over there's my spare space suit. Take that with me. Spare tools. No, I might just leave it here for when I blow up the other base. Uh, my dead plants. Wink. That'll probably take me suppository as well. Unviable. Oh no! Shit. This, oh, I think they break too if you drop them. Unviable. So that means it's no longer fertilized. That's just a regular egg. Uh oh well. I can make pumpkin pies now. If I had some pumpkins and some pies. Uh, but, uh, oh well, so much for my eggs. They're gone. Uh, but anyway. Now I'll have to set up trade and get some eggs. Chickens. Chickens that make eggs. Oh, no, I've got to put a beacon up on the hill over there. Because I find if I'm out wandering around and I'm behind something there, because my base is down on the flat... If it's behind a hill, I can't see that beacon. So I might put a beacon up over on the hill. So I should be able to see it wherever I am. Right. You go there. You go there. I'm pretty sure these ones are not going to hatch now. Ah, oh, they fix the torch. No more, no more haunted torch. 
<laughs> yeah, they break. <laughs> and you can recycle the uh, broken eggshells too. Uh, so if I... No, it's not hatching. That's it. Um, okay, you're eating eggs now. I'm going to put them in here. Oh, well. I was saving them for a rainy day. Well, yeah. Ah. Uh, Right, so we are getting some food in. I don't need chicken food anymore. Uh, got some corn. I need... What are we giving today? You need to be... Getting some stuff to plant. You're all pumpkins. You're all other stuff. You've all got stuff to plant. So, uh, right. I'll let them go. I'll probably grab a drink before I get into lacing it. Oh, oh, and I've actually managed to break my pants. I don't know how. I think I might have bumped into a, um, bumped into something while I was setting up the, uh, the Harveys. But anyway, it's happened. Now, what were we up to today? Uh, we think we had to do the water cooler. And probably the centri Sterling engines while we're there. Hmm. Now we had I had a suggestion there. If I put the Sterling engines over by the outlet from the oxygen collector, uh, as that vents all the uh, liquid CO2 at the other end, it would probably increase the efficiency of my Sterling engines. And that is worth trying out, I think. So we'll do that. So I've got my hot gas there. I'll need my Stirling engines. I shall need some, some valves. I shall need some pipes. And I shall need a couple of canisters and fill them up with the volatiles. Um, so I shall want you... I shall want two of them. I shall want something, so I'll be able to, get to fill them up with volatiles. Uh, okay, that one wasn't happy. Right, so now... I guess I shall need a, a regulator. Regulator? Volume pump. Um, who knows? Uh, I'll use a volume pump. I've got a volume pump in my pocket. I'm carrying around broken eggs for some reason. Uh, so I shall need um, a utility so I can fill up the tanks. One of them. Uh, I can take my medical pill, chew into there. Take my flare gun, and put that somewhere that's going to go off whenever I want to use it. Uh, you can go to there. Sterling engines, pipe. Uh, volume pump, valves, cables, um, right, let's see how we go, thank you, I want you, and I should want a space suit, and you, and you, oxygen critical, oh it is not, And you. Right. Yep. I've already got something in there. 
That's what you don't. Right, volatiles are here. I should want a volume pump. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Put you there. Put you there. Pipes. Uh, wrench. Boop, done. Table. Done. Now that will be very high pressure, so I've got to be careful with this now. And so careful, I'll paint it before I even try. There we go. Um, we've got no power to that. You must be on the Amy circuit then. There we go. Whoa, that was very quick. <laughs> Oh no, three mole. That's not that quick. I think we want about 70 mole. Uh, well, that's what we use on Vulcan there, and it everything survived there. So if we do the same again here, and hope nothing explodes, it should be running about the same temperature. So uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, right, and then we can start building the things. Now, I, I hope we have enough temperature there to run two of them. Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. Right, two of them. Now the output from our intake is just here. So the plan is if we put our uh, centri uh, uh, Stirling engines around that, it should produce an extra mass of cold air whenever that switches on. Uh, we've got power there. That should be easy enough to do. Uh, do I want to move that? could move that to out of my way. We'll have the hot pipe from here along that side, probably where we want it, uh, which is facing that way. You'll take up the full width of that could fall off the edge if I wanted to. Uh, I could just put it there. Yeah. Well, we'll see how we go. So I need to pipe them up to this. So after it's gone to the furnace, I'll need a one-way valve coming out of that to them, and then one-way valve coming out of that. Uh, so it's gone to there, it's gone to the furnace, one-way valve comes out this way. Uh, is there an intake over here that I want to move there? Okay, so I could move that vent over to here. That might be easier to do. 
And now put you there as such. And grab you and you. Put you. There. There. Right, so I need, I think it was steel sheets for that one, wasn't it? Oh, come on, tell me. Steel sheets, yeah. Oh, ooh, and this, this thing should be not, no longer putting out hot gas. Uh, so that's going to be cooling down pretty quickly. You know, 20 megapascals in that, right. Okay, we've got to start cooling down some water. So we need some steel sheets and electronic parts, I think that one is. Uh, you. Two electronic parts, two steel sheets. Right. Hook them up. Um, we've got the gas tanks. So the gas comes out of that, heats the furnace, then goes to this to cool down. And then we'll need to go to... A something else. Uh, so I might not even need this anymore. I might actually switch you off. And we'll see what temperature that's all coming out at. Right, so now I can use this to actually cool down stuff after it leaves these things. Uh, I might actually use counterflow for them. Right, so that's this thing in operation. How far does that all travel? Liquid pollutants gone. Liquid CO2 is... Whoa, almost getting up to the vent. <laughs> does it get to my CO2 intake? It does not. Okay. So if I move that to here, that'll be oh, that'll be close. That'll interfere with my vents. Um. Right, but we do it here, we are minus 22.6, 2.95 kilopascals. It's actually colder at 2.09. An extra one kilopascal, but warmer. Ooh, what's going to be better? Oh, let's just get the things built. Let's just get them built. We can mess around. We can experiment with that one and have a bit of a mess around later on. So uh, what do I want? Sheets. I want sheets. I want electronic parts. And a crap ton of pipes by the looks of it. 16 aren't going to cut the cheese. Some counterflow heat exchanges and... More pipes, more valves, water pipes. Uh, it sounds like everything's coming out of the plumbing machine, doesn't it? Right, so I want... Uh, let's just grab a crap load of pipes. A couple of stacks of them. I shall grab electronic parts. And four of them. I shall want yay. And probably some heavy cables. Uh, right. Exchanges. I've got the valves. I'll need the liquid pipes. I should probably take insulated liquid pipes. Well, I do want it to cool down. Um. 
Right. Uh, we'll see. food. Now, steel sheets for ye and ye. Uh, parts. You're done. You're done. You can have that. You can have that. Now the hot gas comes out of here and I have never really learned how to hook these things up. So uh, I just do it this way. There's probably a right way to do it. probably already doing your thing now aren't you um okay Pascals. Um, rot roll eight. Okay, here we go. That's really, really quite slowed down, hasn't it? Um, well, it hasn't exploded. I was getting close. A little bit closer than I like it to. Uh, that'll do us. And you cut us. Got to wait, Mega Pascals. That's okay. Now uh, they are generating power. So now I've got to take what's coming out of them. Oh, you're making noise. Okay, I've not heard him make that noise before. Uh, I want. Okay, you're. Starting to make liquid water. A little bit. Okay, so I'm going to have to start pushing you into the. I'll need a. Uh, da, da, uh, um, I'll need some liquid pipes. Capture all that stuff. Uh, probably a liquid tank. Probably not yet. Uh, some heat exchangers. I've got a vent there to run through it all. Um, grab you and you and heat. Grab the count flow heat exchangers. I'll grab three because that's uh, a number. Uh, I've got one more valve. Yeah, one more valve. That's it. 
Now I might want to change my water maker. Because of the gas that I've got in there, I've got pollutants as well as water, and the pollutants will condense at a higher pressure than the water. So I want to make sure I keep the pressure in there below the pressure that will um, condense the pollutants. Uh, so I want my computer. I shall grab... Nothing switched on, that's all right. Uh, import you. So we want the pressure on the output. We shall say just uh, only take that up to three megapascals. Um, export, don't take it up to 20 megapascals that we've currently got. Uh, oh, um. F1, we have water. Oop. If I can compare that too, I can look at that. A few pollutant. Now we see that the pollutant will not condense below uh, 6.3 pa... Oh, whatever that one is. Uh, up there. About 500 kilopascals. 6.3 kilopascals. Well, that pressure there. Uh, I think it's about 3 kilopascals. Uh, so the pollutant won't condense below that uh, where the water will. So if I keep it below that pressure, all the water will come out of it. The pollutants will not condense. Uh, so that's what we got to do. So I'll set that to three kilopascals. And give me one, one of them. And some water pipes. I'll grab, uh, yeah, maybe not. I'll grab un uninsulated ones because I do want them to cool down. Hopefully they don't freeze. Uh, grab me a stack of them. Uh, you. Do you have any water pipes kicking around? I do. Nine. My other one of them, I only got two of them. One more of them. Gimme. <coughs> now. My power is still dropping. The storms are way too short now, they don't power up my batteries at all. Well, so that goes to there, that'll use the heat, and I want to put in another valve, and, um, you know, uh, let me get rid of you, get rid of you, uh, so move you out of my way, uh, for, for, for. what do I need for that one, grinder? Nope. And drill. And drill. Oh, that's handy. Uh, you. And you. Now, for this one, I want to put down uh, counterflow heat exchangers. The liquid will be coming that way. The gas will be going out that way. We've got uh, so if I blow the vent in, 
the hot gas will be heading in that direction. I'll put the vent down this end and suck back in through the other way. That'll allow us to do it. So I've got fallen down. In, uh, one. On that side. Yeah, where are we? You. Two. And three will go there when I go get it. Now what do I need for them? Probably pipes. Welding torch and steel sheets. Yeah. Right. So on there we should have We're going to do this. Um, I'll need to put in a valve on each of those ones to collect the liquid. And the gas. an output so the gas from the vent I don't need insulated ones for that one okay come on get it together I'll have another one of them uh, you to still have the valves on there. We'll see how we go. You, you, and you. Uh, that one We'll probably put on here. Oh, we won't worry about that one. Um, you can go there. Now, uh, I want you to go over to here. You should be blowing into that end. Put another heat exchanger there. I shall need a couple of condensation valves, expansion valve, that's a condensation valve, and I should have water coming out the other side. Probably pretty hot water, but it'll be water. And that should be it. So I need uh, one, two. Oh, and some sort of a pressure regulator at the end. Maybe a tank, inline tank. Um. Okay, let's uh, see how we go. Regulator. 
Uh, probably a cow and some valves. Um, I'll grab five. I don't know, utility. Grab a couple of them. I might not need them. I actually should go. Well, I want at least to cool down. I shouldn't be doing it in an insulated pipe, should I? Uh, that's not the smartest. You. Okay, climb up the ladder with your hands full. That's real safe. That's all right. I got my safety suit on. You're not doing much now. Uh... Oh shit. Um, yep. <laughs> uh, so I'll need to connect that to you. Uh, do, do, do. That's the uh, wrong one. You. You. And you. How come I got two of these things now? Did I print out an SBA one? You. I did have it. I did already have it. I could put another one in. Well, see how we go. Uh, you, 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 you're done. Uh, now you. Um, what do I want to do with that? I probably need to go. You. Um, what do I want to do there? Not quite sure. I'll need to have a pressure relief on that. Let the stuff out at the end. Um, uh, right. Wrench. I had more pipes there. Yes, I do. Put you onto there, that one way. I take that one out. Now, I'll put you on. Now, that should be allowing the water out of there and into here. Which it is very hot water, but water nonetheless. 
Uh, you. All the water is gone for 185 degrees. Now I'm going to get power down to you, switch you on, and that should cool everything down. Uh, so I can do that. That is not connected to anything there. Jetpack low. What? Oh no, I haven't had that one plugged into the suit stand, have I? That's why it's running low. It's everything except my jetpack I've had in there. Uh, you. Now if I run you down to yeah. I'm going to switch you on. That should now be cooling down my... Oh. Oh, oh no, no, no. Switch them on. Switch them on. Switch them on. Was that the problem? That was the problem. Yes, it was. Okay, you are cooling down though, not by much. Oh shit, that's a problem. Uh, yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> Whoops. Now where's that thing I said I wouldn't need? That's just going to suck it straight back in again, isn't it? Um, uh, uh, more pipes. Jetpack low. Oh yeah, that's right. It is too. Okay, this is getting a little bit messy. You can go into there, you can go into there, you can go into there. You should be there. Jetpack critical. Well, here's one I prepared a little earlier. Shut up. Now, um, pipe. You. Oh, that's because I'm running it at night time when all the, uh, If I run it at night time, all of the carbon dioxide is going to um, condense, isn't it? But once it goes through that first heat exchanger, it should be pretty warm. Um, we'll see. I'll need that. I'll probably grab got some more I do have some more hmm well, maybe if I just reduce the pressure of it if I take out some of those I take out some of the uh, valves at the end of it there, maybe that'll reduce the pressure of it and make it work a little bit better. Um. Yeah, you, you, there, there, there. 
now. I can switch you on. How are we holding up now? A little bit of looting. Uh, we're not exactly cooling down a heap of it. Or is that because nothing's coming through in the other direction? Um... Okay, maybe not counterflow. Or do I need to put on the pressure relief at this end? If I have you, um, probably keep it away from everything best I can. Put a back pressure regulator into there. Oh, that's untidy, isn't it? With a uh, canal on the end of it, you can go to there. I need to put power up to you. Um, look up some very ugly power. I could have just faced it the other direction, couldn't I? Well, it might take a couple of iterations, this thing. Right now, so if I put you back to... Say, like three megapascals. Now what are we doing? Back pressure regulator. Oh, we do have a bit. Oh, we have lots of uh, temperature change there now. Okay, you're dropping in temperature pretty quick. That's making water pretty quick. There's still 9%. Oh, it's dropping. 8% of water. 7% of steam. It was 15 when it was coming in the other end. It's down to 5. Just want to make sure there's no liquid pollutants coming into it. That's all. As the pressure drops. Down to one, getting down to one percent. I can put another stage on there. I've got another, another one there. And a half a percent. That's not too bad. There's not much water there. Or is that all just blown outside? Okay, so almost the steam is... Um, okay, not much the steam's already gone. Uh, Alright, let's... Um, let's hook that back up again. That should cause you lot to speed up again. Our steam's going up again. 700. 760. 708. 
Well, that's rather pathetic. It was 600 degrees. Waste tank caution. Um. Right, this is not working real well. <laughs> Um, not even cooling it down real well. What's going on here? I have got, well, 35 kilojoules of 48. Well, it's certainly cooling stuff down. Okay, that's sucking in the liquid straight out of that. That is 20 degrees and it's coming out of there at 200 and dropping 16 megapascals. There's plenty of gas there. That is dropping. That is dropping. That should be maintaining temperature, actually going up. Okay, so we've got 15% steam in that one, 15% steam in that one, and 1% steam in that one. It looks like we're getting all of our water pretty much in that last stage there. But maybe I do want to put on another stage in that one. Although it is still finding its, its balance. 700 degrees coming out of there, 455, 230. That's still dropping in temperature, okay. Maybe I might just have to let that get to a, a sweet spot where it balances out. Uh, you still haven't switched on yet. Oh, that's a pathetic jump. Oh, well, you're still only down to 14 megapascals, so you're not in any hurry. That won't have switched back on yet. Uh, these were not going to explode. It'd be nice if they were in somewhere which was a little bit, a little bit more pressure, but that'll do. It's getting us free power for nothing. Free power for nothing, as opposed to the expensive free power. Uh, can I downgrade these pipes or just an upgrade? No, deconstruct. <laughs> yeah, I can't downgrade them. Uh, that's all right. Uh, right, so we have water coming in. We are making water. We no longer have to collect water ice. We got pollutants in there. Crap. Um, that's okay. I can get rid of that. All I got to do is reduce the pressure in there and the pollutants will boil out of that one. Um, there we go. 500, nothing coming out of you. We now got water coming out of this stage. Uh, so we're 10% steam at that end and 0.8% steam at that end. Now starting at 15, we've still got 0.8 left at the end of it, so we're collecting most of the water, not a heap of it, but it's costing us nothing to make. So um, the plants are producing the volatiles, the oxygen is coming from the atmosphere. Um, so is it a loss? Uh, Yeah, 
we've got it there it is still hot it's still hot water we can cool that down easy enough because uh, the water is of course a coolant so if I release the pressure on that Hunger, caution. dump it back into here through a purge valve which is a regulator which I don't have uh, right so, get you out of the way uh, I should need some more pipes I should need a regulator and way past uh, yeah, that's not going quite as well as I would have hoped hmm so I can put another stage on that that will allow a little bit more retention of of the uh, the water so I want a, a regulator um, oh. and that's the regulator I want and the pipes well done At high temperatures water is a very good coolant. At low temperatures it runs at a very low vapour pressure so it is not the best coolant. Uh, so fortunately our water is very hot at the moment so we can use the water to cool uh, the water. Uh, purge valve. Uh, oop. That way you come to there. Uh, if I grab the pipes, you, you, and you lot. You, you. And tidy that up at least a little bit. you are a purge valve you set back to the yeah, 50 you'll be fine now that should suck the vapor pressure out of here we've currently got three megapascals in there so it's already already evaporated all of the liquid pollutant out of the out of the system and as it drops the pressure on that one it should start to suck out all of the uh, pollutant vapor which will eventually be replaced with water vapor. Excellent. You're going there. How are you doing? Yeah, okay, we've got 1.9% steam now. Why has that changed? Going up higher. Thirteen point nine there. Oh, probably because I just pumped a heap of water back into it, didn't I? Um. Heap of pollutant I'm actually pumping in there now. Uh, okay, I don't know. 600 degrees. <laughs> 600 degrees. Oh, is that because we've got to night time again? Okay, so we're down to 3 megapascals at night time. I had like 12 megapascals during the day. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, 
Um, right. So, if I take out... Will that reduce the pressure and reduce the amount of liquefaction going on? Seven megapascals, three point one. Uh, now the amount of steam is going down again. Okay, this is going to take a little bit of balancing to see what happens there. So a little bit of a uh, watch and see for a little bit now, and try a few different things. When I could just, yeah, that's interesting. So it actually provides more cooling during the day because it's warmer. And I get less of the actual stuff trying to liquefy. Um, yeah. Well, that's what we got. 632. That is dropping in temperature now and my battery's gone flat again. Awesome. Uh, but I should have... Water coming out. 20 litres of water. And even though that's really hot now, I've got pollutant in there again. Still. Not again, still. Now even though that is very hot, I should still be able to run that into the composter and run it on hot water. Cool. Now that is 47 degrees without everything running off that. Uh, 22 megapascals, that's actually gone up. Though it looks like I'm still not running the running it yet. Wow, that's taken a long time to go down. That is taking a while to feed through all of this stuff and out the end there. But once it gets down to three megapascals, the water com the uh, hydrogen combustor should switch back on again. Start pumping hotter gas into there. I'll run through these, but let's. Uh, that's morning. Whoop. Let's go inside and see what it says on our power station as to how much power we're actually getting out of those Sterling engines. Was it worth it? Um. Go into there. We are getting, well, it's, it's not huge. It's like two kilowatts. It's better than nothing. But we're using seven now. What the hell? And I'm halfway through my batteries. Uh, how did that happen? Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I'll say I'm going to have to sit out there and watch that one for a little while and see what happens and see if I tweak things and and who knows. But um, yeah, it's it's kind of working. But anyway, that'll do us for today. So until next time, happy building. See ya.